welcome to a mukbang oh. video. Oh. A chicken oh. is going, ah, oh. don't eat me. Wait, Tonka, hey, uh-uh, I didn't say, back up, lay down. Oh. Don't you talk back up, oh. I have food. You are not in charge here, lay down. Oh. That's such a good boy. Oh. Oh. The chicken is gonna watch him ravage his turkey wing. And the chicken says, huh? I'm so glad it's not me. Oh. Don't oh. eat me, Tonka. Oh. No, Tonka. Oh. Tonka says, uh, could you be quiet and just feed me? Okay, 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 okay. This is Tonka's breakfast. Now, he's going to try to leave and I'm not going to let him. Lay down. Lay down. Down. Ah, lay down. Lay down. Okay. Wait until I tell you. Listen. Ah, ah, ah. Wait until I tell you. Wait. Okay. You can eat it now. <laughs> it's like, geez, Mom. Why are you make it so hard for me to eat my breakfast? Here. Oh, look. Notice I'm handling his food. And now... Ah, ah, ah. I knew you could try that. Lay down. No, down. You're not going anywhere. I've got you pinned in. Lay down. Talk it down. Back up. Nope. Don't. Don't get go hunt right now. Come on. We're having breakfast. Don't be so difficult. Okay. You stay right there and eat. I'll block him in. He's going to try to take off of it. Right there. No. Nope. <laughs> get back over here. Get over there. Stay. No. <laughs> Stay. I may have to do some more pinning for this to work. I don't want you going into the dirt or the hot sun. And I don't want to go in the garage, so just stay. You need it right there. That's a good boy. I'll start talking as soon as I know he's not going to go anywhere. There we go. Ooh, listen to that. Crunch. Chicken. Okay, so for you guys that don't know, this is Tonka. He's my two-year-old Alaskan Malamute. And he eats what we call the barf diet. It's a biologically appropriate raw foods. Dr. Billing Ian'sworth, Dr. Ian <laughs> Billingsworth is the one who created the diet. Oh boy, here we go. Already starting off with a good thing. So, um... I wanted to say I get a lot of comments about Tonka's um, coat and his um, condition. You can see he's in really good condition. His coat's always shiny. And I for sure 100% know that it's from the bark diet. Before we started feeding him this way, he was thinner. His coat didn't look as healthy. It wasn't as shiny as it is. So it's done super good one. And his condition, he is solid. It's hard for you guys to get a good idea of his size because it's a video. I've had people say he's a little dog. Well, he's higher than that table right there, you know? I mean, hello, he's not a little dog. But anyhow, enough about that. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that um, raw bones are good for dogs. You hear him crunching them? Oh, yeah. Raw bones will not hurt a dog. Canines have been eating raw bones from the beginning of time. Heck, wolves in the wild still eat raw bones. That's what they live on. Nobody goes out and feeds them dog food. Men created dog food because it was easier for us. Just go to the store and buy a bag of food. So, I'm blaming that on the man, not the woman. Because <laughs> as you see, the woman would just, you know, give them some turkey wings. Anyhow, so... This is good for them. Feeding them cooked bones could kill them. So you never want to feed your dog a cooked bone ever. Cooked bones are very, very dangerous. So no cooked bones allowed. 
they can um, cause bowel obstructions and perforations. They get really brittle when you cook them. So it's kind of like swallowing needles, you know, it's very dangerous and big needles too. Not just those little cell needles, big needles. So don't ever feed cooked bones ever, 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 ever. Now you, you saw before when I was touching him, People have the tendency to think, oh my gosh, if you feed a dog raw bones, they're going to become killers. That's not true. They're not going to become killers. If you watch Tonka's videos, you'll see how nice Tonka is. I would show you by touching his wing, but I'm not touching that nasty thing and touching my camera. But he's good. I can mess with him. And he's a, he's a good dog. So it does not make them into killers, so you don't have to worry about that. Huh, Tonka. And boy, are they happy because they get to eat what they like, meat. I know me, I'm a carnivore myself, so I definitely prefer meat over cereal. Although cereal's not bad, I just would prefer meat. Anyhow, enough about me. Uh, <laughs> if you, um, if you feed this diet, if you feed this diet, you'll notice, um, Feeding the raw bones is good for their teeth, too. It helps clean them. I, I never do raw hide. No kind of raw hide. I just wouldn't want to take a chance. It's just too scary. Now, you can buy, like, um, freeze-dried meat that's rolled up that's as close to raw hide as I would go. And even, I bought those one time for Tonka, now that I'm thinking of it, and I think he got a piece stuck in his throat. And I, I never fed it to him after that. That was, like, the last time. Okay, you're getting a little close. Pack up some. Go back over there some. There you go. Good job. Thank you. Oh, oh, another tip. I freeze all of his meat at least three days before I feed it to him. That helps kill all of the back any bacteria that's on them. So, um, he does still get a little bit of kibble. He has a grain-free kibble down all the time. So that he can eat that whenever he wants. The raw food is really good for the digestion too. It um, it works some his digestive muscles. That when you feed kibble, it goes through your dog so fast that your, their muscles don't really have to work a lot, and that can cause bloat. So this actually helps prevent bloat because his digestive system has to work harder to digest everything so it get the muscles in there working really good and for big dogs a lot of you know that's bloat's very dangerous you definitely don't want to have to deal with that you know bloat sucks but listen i'm going to tell you guys y'all need to do your own research i am not a professional not even i'm a professional mom but I am not a professional anything else. When it comes to children, I'm, I'm, I'm a pro. I've done birth me a few. <laughs> I'm get, stopping that now. Okay. Going back to this. Don't listen to me. And don't think just because I'm blonde, I don't know nothing. <laughs> I know something. I know enough to tell you to don't listen to me. <laughs> do your own research. So, you do your own research. I'm going to leave some links down in the description, and that will help you to do some research on it. <laughs> Look, he's almost done. Okay, I'm going to be quiet and let y'all listen to him crunching.
all done. Was that so good? Oh, there's a bone right there. there. If you guys like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. Uh, please hit the notification bell so you know when we're going to post our videos. And uh, subscribe if you have not already. See you later, alligators. And Tonka's going to say, are you going to say it? Are you going to say it? Say, okay, right? After a while, crocodile.